This estancia was for my grandfather. He had 6,000 um, sheep here. And the pumas here always was a big problem for all the estancias. So we was fighting, fighting, fighting every time with pumas, but it was very difficult because we are bordered with the national park. In 1995 was a big, big winter here. So a lot, a lot of snow and was covered for many, many days. So in, in this area, in Torres del Paine and Patagonia, uh, we lose many, many, many sheep, a lot of sheep. So after that uh, bad winter, the wildlife start to, to come here because no sheep, no dog, nothing. So the, the land was like a open for the wildlife. After that, the tourists for pumas start to be more and more and more popular. And um, for this reason, we decide to start to do conservation and finish with the sheep or, or with the work in the, in the estancia. Just conservation for all the wildlife here. And now we are like a unique place in the world and we are pioneer estancia doing puma conservation. I think it was, f I don't remember exactly, but five or four years ago, when the owners here started offering the, the pumas sightings in a regulated way. Ten years ago, here, in this place, pumas were hunted. We always try to remember that, so people can really uh, see the power of, of conservation and tourism well done. April, May, or maybe March, a rupestre had four, four cups. She was more in the park. That's why she's called rupestre. There are some paintings called rupestre paintings inside the park, and her original territory was that. But, but it was, it, it, this year, um, something happened, we don't know, that she's using more of this, this territory. Maybe because um, in winter, guanacos uh, start coming from the park to this place so she started seeing that with four cups she needs to to hunt more so we sh we, we've been very lucky to to have her almost all the season here and she has four cups two males two females now they are eight nine months i guess the two males are getting very nasty um, they they are they are getting powerful they actually uh, even uh, get nasty with her mother, so uh, it's it's part of the circle of life, I guess. I have been in many places uh, with big cats. I love them. I have been with tigers. I have been with jaguars. I have been with uh, all the Africans, and this is very different because of the walking. Like I always say, walking with pumas, it's it's something unique it's it's really really amazing and 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 the and the landscape always uh sums so it's 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 this is one of the best places to come for wildlife i guess we have more than 20 different pumas here nice view so i think it's perfect home for pumas and wildlife so we change mine and I think it's very nice for the, for the planet. <laughs>